house is on go. <laughs> well, all right. Hey, yo, what's up? Welcome to ZZ Talk with Zeus. And Zeno. And these are the two guys here. Uh, As you can tell, you get... this is a podcast of two very lucky guys who are way out of sync because we haven't done this in a minute. But we decided we're going to drop a nice little special, uh, a little special for y'all. Just to just, I know y'all missing us, so we wanted to drop one. It's been a year, I think, a little bit over a year if I'm not mistaken. I think the last time we dropped one was in June of 2022. Sixteen yeah. decided to bring us out of retirement, so we told him if he's going to bring us out of retirement, he's going to have to be on the podcast with us, and of course. Our other brother Easy had to come on here. So, what's up, guys? But, Man, but Zeus, it's two, two so. guys who talk who talk about what? Oh shit! Yeah, well, I forgot. Yeah, we, Zeno, what do we talk about? Um, sports, pop culture, and a heavy dose of politics. Now, let's hand it over to you guys. How are you guys doing? Uh, Easy M16, how's it going? Hey, man, what's going on, guys? Thanks what's for going on, man. Appreciate it, you know, being here with y'all, man. If I if I would have known that all I had to do was live a text message in a group chat, I would have sent this six months ago. But I'm glad that this is happening. No, to to Easy's um, defense, oh sorry, to to M16's defense, he has been trying to to get us uh, to crawl out of our you know mini caves, whatever we've both been doing. But you know, schedules aligning and such. But we here. Uh, it's always great to talk to you guys, of course. Yes. Yeah. Same goal. The, only, the only thing that I that I hate is I don't have a top five to come up with right now, but I have a feeling one of y'all is going to say something that's going to – actually, I do got a top five. I just remembered. I, I had one. It's a good one. We just had Halloween. So I think when, before we dive into anything, we're going to do a top five. So we just had Halloween. So it's an easy one. We just name my top five favorite uh, Halloween candies. I think that's okay. an easy one that all of us can just pop up. It doesn't have to be in ranking order. Although, Zeno, I'm pretty sure you think that I've already written it down. You know, yes. I'm just joking. I didn't write it down. But I already have in my head my number five. So if y'all want to, I can start. Y'all want to do like everybody just says their five, everybody says their fourth, or everybody just does all, all of them at one time? Yeah, everybody just spits out the five at once. Like, you, right. you do your five, I do my five. Sounds Daddy. good. So I'm going to do my number five. I don't think any of y'all had ever seen this before. Have y'all ever seen the candy corn M&Ms? It's not, it's not candy corn in M&M form. It's supposedly a candy corn flavor of M&M. No. Wow. No. It doesn't yeah, taste anything like candy corn, so that means it doesn't taste like ass. It, 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 it has like a very sweet flavor. It's M&M candy corn. Zeno, take that. Uh, take that uh, face of disgust off uh, that look of disgust off your face. I guarantee, I promise you, it's delicious. It's sweet. It, it, it does again. It doesn't taste anything like candy corn. It's just an interesting uh, M&M flavor. They used to bring it out all the time back when I used to work at uh, work at a pharmacy. But I don't. The last time I saw, it, they didn't have it last year, and I didn't see it this year. So I guess they discontinued it because everybody had a this face of, a look of disgust at Zeno when they saw it. So, but anyways, I used to love those, especially since they go on disco at the end of the season. I'd get like a good 20 bags and my fat ass is watching movies while I'm eating this uh <laughs> eating these MMs. So that's gonna be my number five. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and of course it's gonna be the easy ones, Reese's peanut butter cup and twix. Is so, that four and three or four? Yeah, that's four and three, I guess. <laughs> um yeah. uh, I'm gonna go with this one is the only you can only get it at the, at the dollar store, it seems. And these always hit to me. And you can always use them to fuck with somebody when you can tell them that, hey, I'll give you a grand. And you give them that 1,000 grand. So the 1,000 grand candy, I know y'all have heard of it. That's my, that's my, that's one of my, uh, what is that, two, I guess? That's two, I'm yeah. Going in, I'm not going in order. Anyways, that's the fourth one that I'm listing. And the fifth one, the, the best one is, of course, we just can So. Okay. That's okay. I, I can respect that list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hard pass just, on the candy corn. It's not candy corn. It's m ms It's just candy corn m ms It's different. Easy, since you spoke up, you go next. What's your five? Yeah, there you go. Zeno's so trying, right. uh, um, trying to buy his time so he can get his listeners there. No, I, okay, well, I don't blame him. Uh, I don't really have a particular order, but I'll name five. Like, gummy worms, 
for sure is up there. Okay. Like, I, I mean, I've been tearing them up lately, especially like twin snakes. Those shits are great. It's made by the but same ones that made. Uh, just the regular ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, it's called Twin Snakes. It's like you can get it at Kroger's in a green okay. bag. But not it's the California kind of uh, gummy ones. Wait, say again? It's not so the California, California kind. Kinds. No. <laughs> no, I got, I, got, I got a job to keep. But <laughs> uh, uh, The next one is the gummy bears, but specifically the har- Harbo, oh, whatever. The know. golden bag. Yeah. Those. That's my shit right there. Uh, next one for me would be the the Snickers, um, just regular Snickers. That's that's my shit. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I got a curveball here, and it's kind of a situation like Zeus. I don't know if they're just not making it as much anymore or what. But now I can only get them on Amazon. But the Chewy Lemon Heads, the red box with all the assorted flavors, it's just so good, and I can only get them on Amazon. So I order them on Amazon. Uh, and they're really good, but I, I don't about. know if you guys mess with them a lot. It's not the hard lemon heads, it's chewy lemon heads. They're, they're fucking great. Um, and then my last one is the uh, cookies and cream Hershey's. Okay. You can, I think uh, you can get lemon heads seasonally at Cracker Barrel. Because <laughs> one, of my, well, one of my coworkers, she went to like Cracker Barrel and they had like everything was like at. 75 percent off and she bought, yeah like, and that's what i'm saying like i know they still make like the yellow box with the hard ones and then like they make like the pink ones and the random shit but like it at walgreens they used to have it in the big box that you could get for a dollar like very recently like about a year or two ago and it's chewy with all the flavors it's like you know cherry lemon grape you name it and it's like hella great but i can only get them at amazon now and it's like a 24 pack of the really small boxes but they still slap. Okay. I've got five. Um, three of which you guys already know, so I'll like skim through those. Um, uh, Starbursts. Uh, two chocolates on the list, so Twix and uh, Snickers, for sure. Now, my, uh, my fourth thing is... Um, it's also chocolate, but I don't know that they sell it in the States, but it's from the Mars company as well. And it's a uh, Rolo. You know Rolo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have Rolo here. Oh, they do? Okay, yeah. I love Rolo. Uh, just because it's like all caramelly and it's like, you know, small little circular bat- bite sizes. Perfect for Halloween. Uh, but the fifth is, um, it's not really Halloween, but I like it. And I just wanted to throw this in there. Belvita cookies. <laughs> so, Belvita <laughs> with some peanut butter, peanut butter smeared on it. Uh, blueberry, strawberry, even the one with no berries in it. If you smear some peanut butter on it, oh my god, it's so good. So, those are my five. If, if somebody were to give my kids this, I'm gonna throw it back at them. Belvita? They're putting peanut butter. Yeah, I'm talking. Oh, no, 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 they're not gonna put the peanut butter on it. That's for you <laughs> to make that decision. But oh, okay, I okay. On it. there's a cookie called Velveeta. Did I Bel- 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 and, and Oh, they're okay, ex- okay, gotcha, gotcha. And, and they're outstanding. Beautiful life. Uh, but yes, that's my five. Okay, well, there we go. Um, I guess so that's the meaning. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. All right, so some of them have been named already, but uh, Butterfinger is definitely on there. Um, I had recently had not had Butterfinger in years, and I just bought one out of the blue to stand in the line at Publix. And I said, "Oh, I'll, I'll share half of this with my with my daughter." Uh, I, she didn't; it didn't make it. I started eating. I was like, I realized why I liked it in the first place. But uh, Butterfinger, <laughs> Snickers, Twix. Got to throw Skittles in there. And then the number one for me, and I've been in the zone with this for a second, is the Sour Punch Sour Straws. Um, they had this, um, I guess, the spooky uh, Halloween limited edition flavor where it had uh, grape, tangerine, and apple in there. But any of those are good. Any of the Sour Straws. Strawberry, any flavor, good to go. So those, those are my five guaranteed to give you a cavity for sure. So, so not to be that guy. But since but, 16 brought up Skittles, and I had this healthy debate the other day with some friends, so I figured I might as well just bring it here. 
And somebody had the audacity to tell me that the red bag of Skittles is now considered the worst pack of Skittles. This would be accurate. And and this is why I'm bringing it up. Because to me, that's crazy. I feel like the tropical blue pack is easily the worst, in my opinion. And I think it's like the purple pack, the the berry, the wild berry, and then the original, and then the And they're sour, right? Yeah, there's like a sour one, but I don't really mess with the sour one. So the purple bag is the GOAT. But it the, is. Tropical, it's the tropical the and the blue is outstanding. And I don't want no red Skittles. I want nothing to do with those. It's like, this all you this is the kind you got where I just I won't eat any. It's okay. It's, it's all right. Original. Like that that's the whole reason you started eating Skittles. Like nothing's changed about that pack. It's still really good. Did I miss think, something? Yeah, things change. Uh, you guys want to know something? I don't think I have A ever bought a pack of Skittles. B ever been given a given a pack of Skittles. I think I've always ever been given like loose Skittles. Like <laughs> here's a here's a a vat of Skittles. Let me scoop some for you. So I didn't even know there were different colored packs, like the red and the Zeno, every time we talk, you you tell me one fact about you that just blows my <laughs> mind and I just like, Yeah, wow. I, I didn't know those existed. Um I am in his defense, today. In his defense a large portion of his life was not raised in the United States. Yeah, so, well, that's that's true too. Which which I think a, is like uh, you know that helps like you know that that helps you know example, like it's just like yeah that's true that is true. But it's just for example like, wow. in the states we don't get people smearing peanut butter on on cookies and giving them in the trick or treat bags. But apparently, well, to be to be fair, that's a yeah. me thing. That's not that's not, a, that's not an internationally recognized thing. It's a, a me <laughs> loving concoctions. I wanted to see, you know, what crazy thing I could come up with. Um, like, yeah, but you know, I, I just, I just, I thought it was blasphemous that the red is now at the bottom of the of the barrel. Like, that's it's, just been su- my mind. it's been, su- it's been, it's been surpassed, bro. It's okay. Things evolve no, and change. No, I, I agree. I agree with that, right? Like, yeah, I'm okay with that. wild berry. I'm, I'm okay with the purple pack being number one because to me that is easily the best. I'm, but I'm to not, say that, I'm not a fan. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a. If I had a choice between getting, if there's, you give me all four different bags, the red one's going to be automatic. Honestly, probably sour would be the second one that I would choose. And then I'd probably get the purple one third. And then the blue one fourth, the tropical one. Like, yeah. yeah so I think I, switch, switching out lime, taking the lime out of the original bag and, and replacing it with green apple took it down a notch for me. Lime kind of just, it set it off. We ain't got to have green apple everything. Green apple's good, but it ain't got to be in everything. And, and the second thing I wanted to bring up since we were talking about Halloween was, so, like, this year I got really, like, I feel innovative with my trick-or-treating, like, what I was handing out to the neighborhood kids, right? So, obviously, I went buy candy, right? Like, got all the good shit. But then, like, I had, like, this case of hot fries, right? The Andy Caps hot fries. And I was like, man, I'm not going to eat all of these before November 19th. So I'm going to go ahead and, like, give out, like, big-ass bags of chips. About yay big, right? Like, not, not like, cash register size, but, like, good, decent-sized bag of chips, man. And them kids had me hyped up, bro. Like, they was like, man, you the best house we had, bro. Like, nobody, everybody only giving us one piece of candy. I would you be happy if you were saying candy. I was like, you know, I'm going to have to start doing this every year, bro. These kids got me hyped up. They calling me the best house on the block, like, so I was wondering, like, do you guys do that too? Where y'all be in the pantry and you're like, "Damn, I ain't gonna eat this in time," but these kids are gonna tear this shit up. If no, because I, I don't, I don't, uh, I, I don't hand out because uh, my kids are so small, you know. So they're six. So we, I, I go trick or treating instead, and right. I'm not doing the. We're leaving a a, a a big old bucket and trusting them to take one. Yeah, yeah, I've seen too many videos of that. Yeah, uh, and uh, I'm like, no, we're not doing that. So I just don't bother handing out. But I can swear when I was a kid, hot fries was. There was a there was always one at least one house that would hand out half hot fries. You talking about the 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 yellow pack with the, the yeah no no so I'm talking they, so that that's one version and then there's another brand it's called Andy Caps and it's like this English looking Inspector Gadget dude on the cover. They're actually the better version. It's a it's a blue bag and it's called it's like orange lettering Andy Caps hot fries. This shit's great. It's it's, yeah. pro- it's probably better than Chester's to be honest. It is. Yeah, yeah, like it's damn good. There. Oh, I've seen that one. I've seen, I've seen those. But yeah, Chester. I remember Chester would be the one that, which yeah. you know is ironic now that you think about Chester. 
being the name of him and being handed out to kids. But I, I remember um, it would always be, yeah, it would be those. That would be the ones that I would get. Um, what's it called? I swear it was always like one house, no matter where I went trick-or-treating. That I would get yeah, well, appa- apparently that was a house. So I'm like, damn, I might have to do this every year now. It's a good house. Be hyped up. It's a fun house. <laughs> then, then, the, then the one year you forget to get them, they're going to egg your house. I don't know. One of them told me God bless me, so I felt like I was doing the oh, Lord's nice. work. <laughs> Is this oh, what yeah. you guys are talking about? Can you guys see this? Oh uh, no, not yet. If you can, you guys screen. see this? Yeah, that. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Go back to it. Yeah. It again. It's t- it's uh, yeah. T- this is it. Yeah. So the bag, uh, one of those two in the middle, right there, top row. That those. That's it right there. Andy Cap's high fries. Big bag. Now the the both of those bags are in stores, but the 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 case I had was it was like from Costco. It was like a thirty five pack of the big bags, and I thought it was like the small bags. So when I bought it and I got home, I was like, "Shit, these bags are fucking huge!" Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna eat all of this. Yeah. Um, these who, are the superior ones. Is your wife eating them with you though? Is that why you knew you weren't gonna, or is that why you knew you weren't gonna finish them because your wife doesn't eat them with you? Well, hundred percent. Like that—that's the issue yeah. in my house anyway, right? Like, I'm a terrible eater. My brother knows this. You know, we we grew up in Louisiana where like you know everybody's got high blood pressure and and you know. What's the catchphrase, bro? What's the catchphrase? It, it, it tastes good, but it's gonna kill you. It, you know, it's, it's yep. <laughs> so like you know, like we completely contrast on foods. Like she's uber healthy, and I'm just very much, you know, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Like it is what it is, you know. So, damn. Oh, well, okay. Well, you got uh, and you got the hot fries. Okay, we should just go a quick, li- a quick. Whoever has like the one item that they know they can buy at their house. Zeno, I know that you live alone. You live. You live by yourself. But I'm pretty sure back when you were living with uh, with your family, there was something that you would buy. So, what's the one thing you would buy because you knew nobody else was going to eat it and be like, "Well, we can share," but you know, <laughs> you know, nobody's going to. Uh, For me, it's the Chicago style popcorn. The, the one with, oh, the, with, the, the the or, with the yeah 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 yeah. My kids will eat it, but they won't they won't jump on it. Like I I'll destroy one. Of, I'll destroy the big old Costco Sam's Club. And, no, and nobody's mad about it either. It's like, oh, yeah, and nobody gets it. They don't get upset. So oh, we're having, you know they'll eat some, but I'm gonna destroy that bag by myself. I just bought yeah, one that, by the way. In, in, in my house, it's like any chip that's like not like simply. Well, what's it what's it called now simply pop or if, it, if it's not organic or nothing like that uh, I, I could kill a whole thing and not have to worry about anything i'm not sure that i have something like that um because I, I felt like um my brother uh the one i used to live uh with when when i was in smyrna or even when i was living with like my family as a whole i felt like they were all like not picky eaters so like, <laughs> oh, we, we're gonna eat your thing no matter what it is That's so true. no i never had a thing like that um yeah and, and, and yeah, it makes it it makes it easier to just have a group of people that will help you finish your stuff um i i didn't buy candy for for halloween this year just because i did it last year and none of the kids around here came to trick-or-treat uh, they didn't the year before either, but I thought, okay, COVID, yada yada. But this, but then the then the year after, they didn't come and trick or treat. So now I was like, you know, I'm not gonna buy any candy. If they come by, I just won't answer my door. So be it. Well, so. I've, not, I've I've discovered back in our day, you know, in the in the late 1900s, when we used to go trick or treating, every neighborhood would participate. Now I found out that honestly, now there's like only particular like so the way when our kids, what we do is we take them to our uh, to her cousin's house, like her cousin's neighborhood, and those got that that neighbor that's one of those neighborhoods where people are lined up to park, to get out and and start walking, wow. yeah. So it's one of those. So we go there. We'll go and and the kids tapped out early this year. Last year we were walking. I think we walked a good two miles or two and a half miles. This year we only made it like maybe a mile because they were like it's cold because that I, I, Mother Nature works in a in a in a very funny way where like you know it was hot like the day before you noticed it was cold as hell on Halloween and then after that it was hot again I think Mother Nature was like no nah, we know it's a school night and a work night, and a, you know there's work next day so we just gonna make it cold 
because our kids tapped out like in an hour. I thought so, that was just us because it seemed this this Halloween this year seemed kind of subdued compared to others where it just wasn't. I don't know something was missing. It didn't have that same energy, and I feel like what you're saying is true with that. This is where the kids was like, man, I had a long day at school. You know, it's chilly out here. I got what I got. Let's just take it in the house. That's how my daughter was. Yes, She's like, it was on Sunday. No, uh, twenty. It was t- twenty one. Was on a Sunday. I remember that one because I was I was watching a Saints game outside with my neighbor, and I had to come back because I was starting to cuss. I was like, I don't want to be out here doing this with the kids. I'm gonna walk inside till this is over with, and then I'll come back outside. So yeah, that's why I remember that one. But I don't, yeah, last year was a Monday, and I wonder how many folks like just did some on the weekend. Like right, like did the local park have some on the weekend on Saturday? I know a lot of people had like Halloween parties on Saturday. So I wonder if that kind of. Oh, I got a, I got a story about that. But before we do that, sixteen. What, what, what's the, is there an item that you buy at the house that you like? You know the the wife and the kid ain't gonna eat. Yeah, I got two. It's two of them actually. They're on equal footing. So if I get uh, chili Fritos, nobody touches those. But it's all mine. I'll wreck those. The chili cheese Fritos, and then the uh, there's these uh, organic white cheddar Doritos. Nobody's touching those. I can rock those on my own. No issue. Nobody in the house is eating that besides you. That's just it's just me. Nobody else is eating them. Man, if I bring that in the house, bro, Kim gives me this look like. I can't believe you brought these home. She's like, you know, you she messed up, right? Them, as she eats them. <laughs> like, that's crazy. No, right, bro, they, won't, have, uh, they won't touch them. Yeah. Y'all go, I'm gonna break heart. We have to throw those away. And uh, Really? Because, no, the kids won't eat them. And then I, I, I like chips, but I don't really eat chips that much, if I'm being honest. I won't eat chips here and there. And... Oh. You know how you get that that variety pack? Like yeah. Chili cheese, yep. chili cheese don't make it. Don't make it. Oh man, I, I rock those. I'm I'm in the same category oh, as my I brother. You were talking about the white cheddar, so you're saying the Fritos don't make it? Yeah, no, the Fritos, the Frito chili cheese ones don't make it. No. Oh, okay, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. But, but no. So, my, so my story about what you asked about the the weekend, we're doing something. Have you noticed how? Have y'all ever have y'all been to one where where the corporations kind of fuck it up? Because what happened is we went to a trunk or treat last year, right during the weekend. Because you know how I was under the impression if Halloween was on a Monday or Tuesday, you would do it the weekend before, and then if it was uh, and then you know if it was like late, if it was on a Thursday, then you would do it on the week on that day, right? But I've always been of the idea that because I do remember now that I think about it, Monday was the day that there uh, was Halloween uh, last year. So on Saturday, we went to like a little trunk or treat. Man, when I tell you this was horrible, so one, the line was long. They weren't passing, these corporations weren't passing out candies. They were passing out their products. So we only made it to the first vendor, which was some organic popcorn, which was, I tried it and it was disgusting. Uh, Oh, or what was it? Was it, it was some organic crap. I think it was made out of uh, cauliflower. Yeah, it was cauliflower chips. Yeah, exactly. And it was cauliflower <laughs> chips. And my kids just looked at me like, you brought me off of this? <laughs> so thankfully there was a park there. So the kids just went around in the park and we just let them play for like two hours. Because we went to that first vendor, we, we tapped out. But I wish I had stayed stuck to it because I want to know, what was the Sprint vendor going to be? The Sprint or the Verizon uh, vendor going to be giving out? Yeah, I was like, Sprint, is that still... A thing? No, no, it was last year. Remember, Maybe last like year, I think it was something. Uh, like that's the only probably, thing. and I'm just like, nah, this ain't it, man. Uh, yeah, let let things be what they're gonna be. You know, let like let churches still do the trunk or treat, so the, so people can actually enjoy it for what it is. You know, it's already hard to get these kids, like you said, it's easy to do trick or treating. But yeah, yeah, trying to like do this corporate bastardization of it is just it is it was just it just it just really pissed me off. But the funniest part was my son told me yesterday he was like, Dad. Are we gonna go uh, to to uh, to our auntie's house? I was like, yeah. He was like, are we gonna go do the one thing we did at the park? I was like, no, we're not gonna do it. He was like, all right, good, because that was bad. So, you know, kids, kids keep it real. Man. Oh, they, yeah. they don't. Yeah, they gotta love the honesty from the child. <laughs>